Hey there YouTube, welcome to a surprise edition of DoorDash Platinum Rewards, nighttime edition on Mother's Day, May 12th. It is now about 8.40 p.m. And as you can see, we're on our way to our first pickup. It is a Blaze Pizza, $7 for 2.2 miles. There is $2 peak pay, so this isn't the greatest offer, but it's an offer. Straight ahead of us is Blaze Pizza off to the left. We're gonna pull up in here and we're gonna grab this pizza and we hope that we keep getting these platinum offers for the rest of the night because you know so far we have been pretty disappointed with this new dasher rewards program but we really haven't utilized it all that much during the daytime maybe it's better but at night so far it just seems to be the same program that they've had the whole time all right let's get in here to blaze pizza and we're going to go ahead and grab this pizza All right, as soon as we drop that one off, which was $7, 2.4, $2 base pay, $2 peak pay, and a $3 tip, we got a $8 Pizza Hut 1.6. So it, as soon as we completed, pinged right away, Pizza Hut 1.68. $1 peak pay definitely helps a lot. So if you ever get a chance to get in there, go ahead and get it, it helps with the crummy orders. Although I would have taken the previous order, would have been $5 or whatever for 2.4, it's pretty good. And here we are, Pizza Hut. Again, $8, 1.6. pitch black can't see anything all right as you see we are sitting out in front of the Smiths we are at the one at Durango and Elkhorn Northwest Las Vegas Centennial Hills area all that good stuff and in front of us is blaze pizza over there to the left of that sushi sign chipotle is over there to the left of blaze pizza so we're right here at the epicenter of centennial hills because behind us by a half a mile is a bunch of other restaurants panda express wild wings you name it and then obviously north on the other side of the sushi sign there is farm road on the other side of the highway there's a bunch of stuff there as well and now it's been about five minutes so we got back-to-back -back orders on doordash and now it's you know back to being all quiet on the western front not even a peep out of instacart either because i would just go right in smith's here and check that out but you know it is 9 26 on mother's day even though this is a surprise edition of Las Vegas, excuse me. Although this is a surprise edition of Vegas Gig Life, Mother's Day edition, DoorDash special. I ended up doing a lot at Instacart. And I'm just gonna tell you the truth that the DoorDash really didn't blow my socks off. I worked hard to get all the ratings for the platinum tier. And I mean, I didn't see anything nice. I mean, I saw the same old stuff that I saw, and you probably see the same old stuff that you see if you have like a 4% acceptance, and that's no joke. You don't have to have 70% or higher and you know dream of all this stuff unless the catering stuff does come through. But they rejected my bag, which is funny. It's a deliver that insulated huge catering bag, and they declined it. And I'm going to re-upload the same images because that's just ridiculous. You know, I have two monstrous catering bags 
and uh, DoorDash kicks them to the curb. Anyway, it's been about three more minutes, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do here if something don't pop pretty quick. All right, we just got a Popeyes. I'm optimistic that this will be a fail because Popeyes on Sunday nights is always a fail. I was right across the street and this place is always out of stuff, but it is 850 for three miles. So it's a high paying offer, but take a look for yourself. There's one, two, three, four, five, seven cars in line because there's two on the other side of the building to the left that you can't see and the ones in front of me. <laughs> so, yay. I was trying, I saw that the hotspot was Popeyes and I tried to hightail it the hell out of here, but I couldn't. And right now I really can't afford to decline because, you know, they got this new rolling system or whatever I haven't figured out yet. And uh, we were down to 67%. So here we are. And we're gonna wait. All right, just as suspected, it was a disaster at Popeyes. We waited it out. The food was supposed to be picked up at 9.41. I think I got there at 9.38. And it is now 9.59. We're about a half mile from delivery, but it is just a nightmare there. So if you're trying to work the Northwest Centennial Zone, and I'm sure it's probably like this in every zone for Popeyes out here in the Valley. It's rough. On Sunday nights especially, they are bombarded with the orders, and the poor workers there do the best that they can. So bear with them. Don't give them any smack. Don't give them any flack. Don't give them any anything. Either uh, drop the order and take a hit on cancellation. I mean, yeah, cancellation, or sit and wait for the uh, free cancellation. But if you can, avoid Popeyes. If it's a hot zone, I would say hot tail it out of there or hot foot it out of there. Even in the daytime, Popeyes is a rough restaurant to pick up from. If this didn't have some peak pay on it, it would be way, way worse than what it already is. Anyhow, it was, and it is $8 or $8.50 for 3.2 miles, probably 3.8 from where I picked it up at to Popeyes, which is kind of weird because I was right across the street. So we're pulling up now and we're gonna drop this one off. The good news is, is I've delivered to this person before, they order all the time, so I think without a building number, it sucks sometimes. We already know where it's at. Holy smokes, peak pay is over. So we thought about driving home and on the way we got a BJ's brew house offer, as you can see, for nine and a half miles for five bucks after getting three great offers, although some of them had peak pay on them to make them great offers, we get the crummy offer and then as you can also see, we dropped from 67 to 66%. So I don't know, I may never get back above 70% and I may not even care if I get back above 70% because I have just been doing the same that I used to do and I never used to have this much trouble with acceptance rate. So if anybody else knows what's going on out there, please leave some comments below. Otherwise, there's $2 peak pay in Summerlin. And as you can see, we're flying down the highway and we're going to get off on Lake Mead in 95 and we're going to hang around for a few minutes. If we get a couple decent offers, we'll do them. And if we don't, then perhaps we won't. The only reason I'm trying to do three, four, five a day is to maintain the 100 per month. But if I can't keep the 70%, then there's no reason to keep the 100 per month. And here we have our next offer. It is 7-Eleven, 5.7 for 6.50. We already de declined some and went down, so we're not going to do any more declining. And this is with a $2 peak pay on top of it. So just imagine if it didn't, it's 4.50 for 5.7 all the way to the mountain where there's nothing. I mean, zero zip zilch nada. 
This is the worst part about this area over here is a lot of times you'll get shuttled over there and with nothing and an atrocious offer like this. And this could be the last one of the night. We'll see. But golly, $2 peak pay. And uh, yeah, we come in and uh, get this hideous offer. Anyway, here we are, 7-Eleven. 650, 5.7. All right, the most unlikely thing happened while we were at 7-Eleven, ready to pick up. Bam, we got a stack, plus $6 for some additional mileage. And I'm just gonna tell you, it was not additional. It altered my route to the next drop off and it was on the way. So I had to like turn off one street, down one block, one block over and plus $6. $2 base pay, $2 peak pay, $2 tip, thank you very much. It was five items, five drinks that they grabbed and got together in a minute. So it really was no extra time. So we got a little bonus. Hell yeah, it's about time. And now we're on our way to drop off the first one, the original, which was six or 650 for 5.7 or whatever. Now it turns into a halfway decent uh, batch to drop, drop off. Right, that one paid just as we suspected. Two dollar base pay, two dollar peak pay, and a two dollar tip or two fifty tip. Thank you very much. It's appreciated. But the bad news is it takes us out of the zone, and I mean out of the zone. If you don't believe me and you think I'm blowing smoke up your butt, look at where the end result of that delivery is. It is Lone Mountain Road and Cliff Shadow Parkway, Las Vegas. Look that up. There is nothing there. And you see I had to jump on the highway just to get to Cheyenne in 215 so we could be back in the Summerlin zone. And then we're going to just drive down Cheyenne East a little bit to Durango. If I get something before we get to Durango, okay. If not, we're going to call it a night because I'm going to turn left on Durango and go home. I am trying a new lighting setup in the EV tonight. Hopefully it turns out good. I won't know until I edit this. And by then it'll be too late. I won't be able to reshoot. And then I'll just take some constructive criticism on how my lighting sucks. But that big light put too much light I think on. And I'm not opposed to still trying that if I find a way to damper it a little bit or set it up here in the EV a little bit better. So we finished for the night. It is 10.56. I drove back from that second 7-Eleven delivery and did not get any ping down Cheyenne. Most of the busy spots were south of me on Charleston and Rampart and Charleston and Rainbow area and I'm not going to drive down there. I have a catering order to do tomorrow at 9.45 a.m. so I wanted to get home. We're at 67 percent still acceptance rate. All the other ratings are in line. I'm doing enough deliveries to keep the 100 for the month, which seems to be revolving as well. So if I just do three or four every day, I should be okay. If it gets low, I'll just go out and do a bunch like next weekend. Maybe I'll just blast, you know, 20, 30 orders in one day, which I have done before. It's not pleasant, but it can be done, especially in Centennial. You get lucky sometimes and get some short one and a half, two mile runs, but you know, sometimes the pay suffers. With that said, we made $36 in just under two hours. We got four Platinum Dasher rewards offers and we got two non high paying offers. And you, and I already told you that I declined the one from BJ's brew house for nine and a half miles for $5. I'm never going to do that. And then I declined one once I got to the Summerlin zone. That was a ridiculous as well. I don't even remember it was that ridiculous. 
and then we picked up the two. So we did five for the day, which is pretty good. Coupled with the other stuff I did today, which was a bunch of Instacart. And then I did two orders on freight earlier. If you want to watch that video, I'll leave a link in the comments below because I have already, uh, that is a separate video for the day. So if you're interested in freight and other apps like GoShare, Dispatch, those I'll be putting out separate from uh, DoorDash and Instacart videos. We're trying to do as much platinum rewards as we possibly can before they take it from us because they said only a week and I've already dropped 3% below and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it back because I fear that to get it back I may have to accept you know 20, 30 orders in a row to get it back and I don't mind sometimes but I don't know if it's advantageous enough. Like I already said, they declined my catering bag, which is ridiculous. It's a deliver that top of the line catering bag and I have to resubmit it because they said it didn't meet their, their requirements, which is, which is a joke. Anyhow, glad you could join me for this video. We'll be doing more of the DoorDash and freight and stuff like that moving forward, obviously, as if you watch my channel. And again, happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. If you like today's video, please give a thumbs up. Get us in the algorithm. We'll be back in a day or so with a new video, probably more DoorDash Platinum status rewards before they take it from us and we'll see whatever pays we're going to make content on and please take it from the whiz if they give you the offer that they gave me tonight 550 for nine and a half miles from bj's what i call booty house brew house excuse me i'm not going to take it i suggest you don't take it so just don't do it